Tonight, more fallout from that massive college cheating scandal. This morning, authorities took actress Lori Laughlin from Full House into custody. Actress Felicity Huffman was also charged. The question is, what does this mean for colleges now? And how are local universities responding? Here's News Channel 5's Chris Conte. Perhaps the most astonishing part of this story is how wide-reaching it was. Students were given extra time so they could be put with proctors who ended up changing their answers. Parents were involved, coaches were involved, yet the biggest losers were students. It's just really troubling. Most universities pride themselves on academic integrity. Today, though, many of them were doing some self-reflection on internal policies. I guess I was a little surprised that we didn't catch this ourselves. Mike Riley is the director of the American Association of Collegiate Registrars. To be clear, they weren't involved in the cheating scandal, but are now dealing with the fallout. If our members were not engaged in this, uh, we were swept up in it. Uh, and, and so we now have to do work to, to overcome this stain on the on their college admissions process. Mike's biggest concern is about the kids who are getting into college simply because their parents were rich and at the message that it's sending to other students. To see something like this where somebody of means can uh, get into institutions above those that worked hard to get there. It's just very troubling. Also troubling to Mike is that some qualified students may not have gotten into college simply because others had parents who paid millions to cheat for them. That process where people think it's so competitive that you have to compromise your integrity to get into college is problematic. A day of self-reflection after a scandal that has forced some soul searching in higher ed. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. Thanks, Chris. Late this afternoon, the Tennessean reported that Vanderbilt was actually named in the federal charges, but not for the reason you may think. A key witness said Vandy's requirements were too stringent to try to hide a student with low grades from getting in.